Hello, what's going on, guys, and um, welcome to the channel. Now, today I want to show you how to use um, this software. It's called Orion 18. Okay, so let's go into it. So, this is the page that you get once you open the software. Now I have done a lot of uh, projects using this software, as you can see here. Uh, but today I want to, I'll just call it um, YouTube uh, 99. Okay, so you you wanna come here, new new project, and then this will pop up, and then you write your name, and then okay. And then you wanna you wanna choose your code right here. So for for me, I'll just choose uh, UK BS um, eight one one zero, and then import. Now here you select the size of your paper you can go whatever you want it doesn't matter i'll just uh, use a2 it doesn't really matter you can choose whatever you want and you don't change anything and then you just uh, go okay and then you wait for one second okay now our software is ready so as always i have uh, my small structure right here so i will, will be using this so this structure to do our thing the good thing about this software it is it is easy it is the easiest software to use and also it is um, uh, it, it it details also so it is a very good software and a very easy to use you'll see what i mean and by the way so guys i would like to take this opportunity to thank every one of you who have subbed to my channel and uh, if you're new please subscribe uh, so that i um, get motivated to do more videos so what, what you need to do you, you, you come here to orthogonal axis because this uh, and then control uh, you hold control and then you click your left button and this this i uh, think will pop up okay don't don't forget you first you come here uh, right click and then select uh, orthogonal axis generator and then you put your mouse right here and then you hold control and then you press the, yeah, the uh, left key now this is where we we create our our axis so as you can see uh, normally any software uh, it starts from here this is the origin okay so what you need to do uh, here at direction one this is the vertical axis okay so if this is the vertical axis that means uh, it's, the, it's this one so uh, the, the first uh, uh, dimension is 2700 the second is a 5700 so what I need to do here I will write uh, 2700 and then comma and then 5700 okay now uh, on this one uh, this is the, the direction 2 this is the horizontal okay so what I need to do I'll come here and 5200 and 5200 I have two options I can write 5200 comma and then 5 or if I want, I can write 5200 times 1 and then times 2 and then I'll also get the same result. So I will um, put it like this and then as you can see we have our grid lines right here. So the next thing to do is to draw our columns. Okay, so here is our columns. I'll just come here and then I will uh, select that my dimension. So I want, uh, let's say I want 300 by 200. And guys, if you want to draw a circular column, what you need to do, I just uh, delete this, put zero in B2, and then uh, put your diameter in B1, and then it will draw a circular column. Okay, so after this one, either I can uh, put uh, the eccentricity here to 150, uh, and here uh, 100, or I can come here and select uh, center, so that my column will be at the center, okay? So I'll just press, it, click here. And then click here, click in, uh, uh, everywhere where my columns are. Okay, so I have uh, I'm done with my columns. What else do I need? Now I what, what I need to do is uh, I need to uh, put my beams. So I can come here. This, these are my beams. I will um, let's say uh, um, I'll use two hundred and uh, I'll also use uh, 500 okay so this is okay so just uh, come here and uh, click and then hold until where you want it to, to go and then click hold until we want it to go so as you can see guys this is like using AutoCAD or like using AutoCAD it's very very easy software to use very user friendly and I will advise everyone to use this software and by the way before I forget 
uh, if you like this if you like this software i'll put a link in the description so you can uh, go and download it and uh, the good thing about it it is a very very small software it's like uh, 300 megabytes so it will it will be very easy for you to download and very easy for you to use okay uh, what what should I do now? Now uh, uh, it's the time for me to put my slabs. So here is, the, is my slab. I will uh, just click here, and then uh, here I have to change my height. I'll put it as 150, and then concrete cover is 20, and then here I have to put my logs. So I'll just go with my deck load as 1.5, let's say, and um, impose load as 3. Okay, and then I can uh, put it here. Click just just put put your cursor and then click. Okay. Okay, so now we have our slabs right now. So what else do we need to do? Uh, we, we can do anything we want. To be honest, we can uh, select our slab type or we can put um, uh, wall loads, whatever you want to do first. Okay, and um, also we can uh, add f stories. But uh, like in master series, if I add story, if I add, add things right now, and then if I generate my stories, the app of stories will have the properties that I have kept now. So I want to do all my changes right now. So when I generate my stories, they all they all have the same properties that I need. Okay. So I will put my wall load. Just come here and uh, right click and then uh, edit the wall load. Okay. So what you need to do right here is um, I can. Uh, Put, uh, here is three, and then I will put a uh, wall height as uh, let's say three point five, and then a wall thickness is zero point one five. Okay, it will it will calculate your load, and then okay. So as you can see, the the the, the, the beam with the um, with the load is turned to pink. So what you need to do? I can also uh, I can copy the wall load, okay, and then I will um, I will select everything. And then I'll, I'll come to another beam, and then I'll say pests, copy beam loads. You see, even, even the writings on the things are very user friendly. It says pests, copy beam loads. So the English itself tells you everything. So uh, if I, I'll do like this, and then right now, uh, as you can see, uh, I have uh, uh, copied my beam load. What I need to do now is I can uh, select everything again, and with that, I can, uh, oh, sorry, I'll select everything again and then I will um, right click here and set slabs types automatically. So what you need to do here, just press OK and then uh, the software will select the slab types. And right now I have the slab types. So what I need to do now is I will come here. Uh, sorry, wait, my, so my software is uh, it's like lagging. Okay, okay, I can uh, edit story. No, one second. Uh, before this, uh, I I want to insert story, okay? And then I will put three here because I want uh, three stories. I'll put three, and then uh, as you can see, I have story one, story two, and story three, okay? So now what I need to do is uh, my story one is the one with my things. I can come here and edit story, okay? So I will uh, just put here at three point five, and the rest I'll just put three point two, okay? 3.2 3.2 okay and then i can put my uh, my bottom depth as uh, 1500 or whatever i want or i think it's okay for me okay after that i'll i need to come here again and then i'll say generate stories okay uh, when when generate story source story so the source story is the one you have uh, created so i'll keep it as one and target story should be story three and story two okay and then press ok and then um, the software will generate uh, all the, the things that we have done on the lower story to the, uh, to the, the other stories. So process complete, process complete, that means it's done. If you want to check it, you can come here. To, if you want to check in 3D, you can come here and check in 3D. If you want uh, to have a, like uh, two windows where one you have a plain view and another one you have a 3D, you just come here. But I'll just uh, go here for 3D just very quickly to show you. And um, wait a second. Okay, this is, and uh, don't worry. Uh, these uh, green things, these are the these are the wall loads that we have put. Now, if I want, uh, this is not a real uh, this is not a real job, but uh, if a real job, I have to rem I have to remove um, these uh, 
this uh, warlord that we have created uh, on, because there's there will be no warlords in the top story. So I can come here and I can say delete beam uh, beam warlord. Okay, and then I can uh, do like this and then okay. So uh, our top floor will have no uh, lords. And if I come to 3D, you, as you can see, uh, we don't have uh, any any beam warlord. Okay, and uh, this one is uh, th this lord. Uh, you see, uh, extend a little bit. This this is not the lord on this beam. It's on this beam, and it's extend a little bit because we when we did we, we selected the height of our 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 lords. We selected 3.5, while this floor is 3.2. That's why there is a little bit um, extra lord here that is uh, projected on top of this beam, while it is on this beam. Okay, so don't worry about that. Okay, so what I need to do now, I can. Uh, now we are on a very good spot to start to, because we have we have uh, model everything now we can start to analyze and design but uh, first of all i can come here and run and then i'll come here to building analysis okay and then uh, my software will do its thing uh, we only need to wait okay it says not responding something is not uh, working very well with my computer okay now it's okay so what I need to do, first of all, I think the most important thing, you can you can check this if you want to, you can check the parameters here and then you can come to foundation and change your your um, uh, uh, very capacity of your soil and uh, you can uh, change all the things, more things that you want and then uh, you can put your details here, you can choose the codes here. I'll use the foundation for, uh, bearing capacity as 200, okay? So I won't need to bother that. And uh, load combination, it can uh, it can select automatically. What I need to do is to edit material. This is important. So I, I for example, on my normally I use a uh, 20 by 25, okay? So I'll come here and I'll select apply to all type to all member type. So if I do this, all the members will have uh, this one. So you can see uh, all the members have changed. Now on the steel grade, I'll also like to use 460. And I'll apply to every member. So all the members will have 460. But in my links, I don't want to use 460. In my links, I want to use this one. So I'll just go to my links and do that and press OK. So uh, that is. And another thing, you can choose your uh, diameters where you want to use. So in my columns, I only want to use, let's say, 16 bars. So I'll use 16 bars. Okay. Only 16 bars. 16 millimeter diameter bars. Okay. I'll do that. And in my beams, I'll also on only use 16 bars so i'll use 16 bars uh to remove 12 and uh just like this 16 okay and on my slabs i only want to use 12 so i'll do this i'll tick 12 remove 13 and i will advise you to double check what what, what you selected because sometimes you may select uh, 13 and you uh, and you may think that you selected 12 so double check that you you have ticked the correct bars that you need and on my foundation, I will only use a uh, 16, uh, let's say 20, no, I'll always only use 16, okay? Just let's use 16, no problem. If I want, I can also use 12, but uh, never mind, keep it 16. Okay, on my diameter links, I will only use 8, okay? We only use 8. 8 millimeter diameter for our links. Okay. Uh, right now we have done what we need to do. The concrete unit uh, is uh, 25, and uh, unit weight of blocks 4.5, and uh, we have everything that we need. Okay, we can press OK now. So first of all, I need to design the slab. So what I need to do, I will uh, just close this one second, and then uh, as you can see here, I have uh, you see this? This is slab strip. What I need to do is uh, first of all, let's say direction one is axis. Come here, change your check, change your conditions. For example, if there was a cantilever here, we, we, we should use this. But because there's no cantilever, we, we, we use like this. Okay. So what I need to do, I will um, hold control and then uh, start to draw. Why am I holding control? Because if I don't hold control, you see, it, it goes like this. So it will be very easy for me, very difficult for me to keep it straight. So, but if I hold control, you see, uh, it only goes uh, uh, like this. So it's easy for me to draw. And then I can I, I can just put it as a two, uh, and then I will uh, hold control, draw again, okay? And then I'll change to Y, and then put it as one, and then draw. 
don't forget to hold control otherwise it will be difficult for you to keep it straight and then hold control again and uh, do like this okay so as you can see we have already designed our slab just like that our slab is already designed wait a second my computer is a little bit laggy but uh, we designed our slab as you can see here it says that our spacing is 250 uh, with a 12 millimeter diameter so if you want this uh, in your AutoCAD you can uh, just come here to DXF and then export and then OK and then uh, I will have these details in my um, in my AutoCAD again okay, mind you uh, sometime um, you have to edit it a little bit for example like uh, the way it details it's not acceptable in my country so I have to edit a little bit but I'm sure there are some other countries which accept those type that type of details okay so it depends on your country and uh, which details they want but uh, on my in my country I'll be honest with you uh, this is not acceptable uh, the detail the detailing procedure is not acceptable so I have to edit a little bit only a little bit I have to put the the edge uh, bars uh, correctly Okay, so um, it takes a little bit longer to open my AutoCAD and my computer is very slow, uh, but um, it is what it is. Okay, so now, wait a second. Somehow it is open. Okay, no, or it is. Uh, okay, so this is. Uh, okay, wait a second. Okay, right now it's ready. So this is the my slab, my slab details, and um, what you have to do, you can remove these, you can remove these. And I think the rest is um, is okay. So um, the next thing you, you need to come to one. And then building analysis. And then here to analysis. And then you can check your building here. So it will be checked for errors. No error, no error count. All everything is zero. Then you can select this uh, right now. And then you can start. Comparison report uh, just to, to, to be sure. I won't do it because my computer is a little slow, so it will take time. But uh, just come to here and then uh, let's start with BIM. And you can check the model analysis if you want. I also let, let, let's go. Uh, it might take time, but uh, let's do it because it's, it's a bit important. Okay, so as you can see, these are our this blue one is our model and uh, the red one is our deformed shape. Now, if you want, you can, uh, you, can, you can put the diagrams right here. So, let's say if I want to check my moments, these are my moments with the numbers and everything. And uh, if I want to shear, these are my shears. Okay. And um, uh, if you want, you can check the animations so that you will see how it moves. But uh, unless your computer is very powerful, don't do that. Uh, my, my, this, my, this computer I'm using today is not very powerful, so I won't do the animation. But you can, uh, this is how we check. Uh, these, these are our moments on our beams, and these are our moments on our columns, and uh, these are edge loads. Okay, so it's like that. I want to. I want. To. Okay, guys. Um, first of all. Uh, what we wish, I, I think we should go back here and then we can um, 
we can go to, to, to settings, okay? We can set our themes the way we want to, the way we should, we should uh, retain. This is mostly uh, important uh, for, uh, to retain, okay? So as, as you can see here, when you put zero, uh, it will take 25 as your complete cover, okay? Uh, so what I need to do here is uh, I will come here and the maximum is eight. Maximum link spacing, I want it to be maximum. maximum to this 200 and the minimum link spacing let's say 50 okay and the maximum diameter is like that okay uh everything there is okay and i want to come here okay so what i need to do is uh these are only small settings that we need to do how we want the section to appear and the uh, most important thing i want this one as you can see i want it to I want it to yes I want it to be like this okay just to show the number of and I don't want this to, to have like T1 or T2 so I want to remove that yes I want it to be like this show that to T1 T something like that and then you can put the nation and then you can remove whatever you want or you can keep whatever whatever you want you can just tick like this to know which one you're changing and then uh, okay and then i can uh, i can uh, building analysis and then we can run a building analysis again just uh, just uh, to if, because the change that we made may affect something so we can uh, do it again. Now post analysis, let's go to new first. Okay, so we have uh, this beam is failing. Uh, we can check it, what's the problem? And um, what is the problem? Um, let's go to backgrounds. I don't think uh, it says uh, top bar reinforcement. Okay. So what we can do is uh, if I uh, what if we what, what, what if we remove this? What if we remove this? Okay. Okay. I think, uh, yes. I think we can now. So after that, what you do, you come here and automatic you tell the drawings and then just select the first story and then OK. And then wait. OK, so these are our new details. It is everything that we need. OK, and these are our, our needs. So, and here is our, our steel bar quantity. So, okay. So, after that, if you want, you can uh, just cancel this, cancel this, go to columns, okay? Okay, you can go to columns. Uh, you want to tell us if you can changes, yes. Okay, so our columns, uh, it seems like uh, only one column is failing. So what I need to do, I can go here and then we can check and investigate what is the problem. Okay, so what you need to do first is we need to come here and then it says that the section is sufficient. What do we need to do? We need to increase our section, okay? So um, I will come here, I'll say, uh, let's put it as a 250 instead of 2. And then here I'll put it as a 1. Everything is fine. So the thing that I don't like about this software about uh, the, about the, it's, it, it's the column detail is that uh, detail the columns. Uh, every floor is its own column. 
So that way it is um, that way it is uh, it's not how we have the detail in our country in my country. So I I don't use the details in this from this software. I have to to, to, to detail my own manually my own columns. Okay, so that is the problem with this software. Okay, so as you can see, the other columns, the way it details, it's, um, it's uh, not detailing it um, the way I want to. I want um, the first uh, flow column to be connected to the second flow column or its upper column. Uh, I don't want it to be like this. Okay, uh, so that's why, that is why I, um, I don't like the detailing, uh, the column detailing of this software. Okay, uh, so next, Okay, so next we can cancel this. Now we have our, 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 our thing. If you want to export, you can export to the tabs or S frame. This is um, what they call it, the name. I forgot the name. Okay, so if you want to can export to SAT 2000 for analysis and things like that. Um, and also, if you want to report, it can write you your report, beam analysis, report, and uh, everything. Okay, but right now we have all our columns details, we have our beam details, we have our slab details. Now what remains? The foundation, right? So we come here to story 00. And uh, here is our here is our is our base. So what you need to do, you can select everything and then you right click here and then you say insert base file. Okay, insert page uh base. Click here, and then if you want your base to be square, you click here. If you don't want, you can uh, do like this, and then OK. And then the software will calculate and uh, put your 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 foundations. Okay. So right now, after we have uh, completed our, our, our foundations. You can see here, this. Uh, you see the column that we, we, we have increased in this one, so it makes sense. This is the middle column, which is the center, which carries uh, more, more load than every other column. That why, uh, that's why it, uh, the section uh, needed to be increased. So we can, uh, what you need to do, uh, we haven't designed yet because we don't know the reinforcement details of these foundations. So what you need to do, I can come here, right click, and then properties. Okay, so what I need to do right here, uh, I can... I can calculate okay calculate and then as you can see something is failing and something something is failing but why what is failing it says shear at D uh, column is, is failing so that means it's uh, failing due to shear what I need to do if, if shear is failing it means we need to increase the depth okay so I'll try 500 500 and then I'll calculate again Okay, still is failing. I will come here and uh, try 600. Okay, 600 and then calculate. Okay, now it says everything is okay. There is no fail. So this is what we want. Okay. So if you want, if you want to be very, if you want to be very, very economic, you can uh, try to decrease this a little bit. But um, if you, for, for, for the sake of the video, I will just leave it, okay? And here, uh, this, these are the reinforcement, the spacing, uh, T16, with a spacing of 150, and uh, on the other side, also 150. And if you want, you can also try to increase this a little bit. Let's say I can try 200, and then try to calculate again, uh, just to get, uh, to get it to be um, as uh, economic as possible. But um, because of the video, I want to do it. Okay, and you can see here we selected 600 there as, as our depth, uh, as our depth, but it says here that we can use 552. Okay, we can use 552 so that uh, everything will be okay. So we can uh, we can uh, we can increase this if you want to 552, but also because of the video I want to do it. So this foundation is designed. If you want, you can come to another foundation and design all the foundation and like that. So and the last thing, if you want, you can. Uh, Send this uh, this uh, this uh, layout to to your output by by going uh, like this, just like a slab. So this uh, this will do for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and I will see you engineers in the next one. Bye bye.